Hello, my name is Kyle Paulson, and I wanted to make an instructional video um, primarily focused on line break prevention with F3B and F3J. Um, I'm an F3B pilot, and I've done a lot of F3J too. B is my primary focus. And uh, something that I've learned and experienced for myself over time is that, um, you know, we like to think that we're breaking line because of big tension. And what I've learned is generally line breaks because it's compromised. One way or another, it got compromised. And so I think really what I'm addressing is going to be all those situations that, that cause our line to get compromised. And so before I get into, uh, into any of that, I wanted to just kind of give an introduction video here. And, uh, you know, one thing is, why am I doing this? And the community um, in whole has been awesome to me. And I'm hoping that this is one way that I can give back um, to people that have been so kind and generous to me and the support that I've had and teams that I've been on. And so it's just, it really is, I appreciate that so much. I hope you can get something out of this. Um, another reason for this is, is, is selfish. And that's that, um, you know, a lot of times when we have competitions, we have a lot of delays in those competitions and it's because of line breaks. And so I'm hoping that these techniques can help us all become more efficient in competitions and less line breaks, less frustration, save money, uh, all those things. And third, um, third, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm reading my notes here and I don't have an editor for my video. Um, launch equipment is one of the most intimidating parts for new people. And so I'm, and, and there's so much to learn and it's overwhelming. And I'm hoping that these techniques can, um, can help newbies, uh, be, feel more comfortable getting involved. So when they show up to the field, they don't feel like a knucklehead asking questions that maybe they think they should know. And so a lot of this is going to be addressed in the videos that I post, um, on this thread. And uh, I'm really hoping that this can help grow our community too and make it less intimidating for the new people. Um, most of the techniques that I'm gonna share really have come from hard knocks. Um, and, and it's in my nature to always be f figuring out better ways. So even if a way worked before, um, I'm looking for a better way. And uh, you know, a lot of this came from discussing with my teammates. Um, teammates that I've been on teams with like Dave Klein, Tom Kiesling, Daryl Zabalas, Mike Lukowski, and then I've also run a lot of these ideas and perspectives across people like Mike Smith or Daryl Perkins, who, uh, you know, mentors like that, like Joe Wirtz, and things that I've heard them say, things that I've seen them do, and, and then I've tried to take that in, either using those exact techniques or tried to improve them. It's just in my nature. It's who I am. Um, some people I say have it, I have issues, and I would definitely agree with that. Uh, <laughs> so I'm always looking for a better way. Don't be surprised if um, you show up and I'm doing something a different way than I showed in this video. So, but I, what I want people to know is that the techniques that I'm providing in this video um, are proven. They will work. They work great, and you have my guarantee on that. Um, just because I figure out a better way doesn't mean that these are wrong. Um, I think that everyone has some, at least something to learn from these little techniques because most of what I'm discussing um, I have only ever heard of in my small little community and uh, or that we have developed or that I have developed. So in, in these things, in F3B and F3J and dealing with this equipment, um, details are really important. Little, small details. Something can take five minutes or you can add a zero to it. Something can take two minutes or you can add a zero to it and it can take 20 minutes. And for those of you that have been involved, you know what I'm talking about. So, you know, no line break takes no time. A line break fix takes 10 minutes. So. 
little tiny details that you might not think are important are important and and that's why I'm requesting that in these instructional videos that I post um, that you actually listen twice if not more to so that you get the little details that can be forgotten um, my disclaimer is I, I don't want someone out there saying um, you know this is how Kyle said to do it and that's not really how I said to do it and so I know that if you've watched these videos a couple times or more and listen for all the details and do exactly as I say that it's gonna work great for anyone using these techniques um, I have a request please do not post your ideas and suggestions on this thread because um, there's many ways to skin a cat this is the way that I skin the cat or set up the equipment and I don't want to confuse people I want people especially new people not to be confused to have a way that works and works well okay um, I'm sure you can understand that um, so I hope this gets more people involved let me list just um, the subjects that I'm gonna hit on um, number one believe it or not is not tying and number two would be winch modification and proper winch mounting winch alignment mounting our turnarounds how to do that um, how to walk the lines back correctly walking shoots back um, problems and fixes for that um, excess line on our winch drum um, line changes with the drill gets very tricky I'm going to address that and what makes a good turnaround and what makes a bad turnaround and believe it or not these things compromise the line they're probably the biggest culprit along with winch alignment um, and working with the winch so when someone's launching um, how to work the winch properly and safely so that in hopes to um, help with line break prevention and safety and then last but not least is uh, just simple things like where to place your battery if you can um, so that the line doesn't snag on the terminals and things like that um, I might add subjects later um, I think that's it I hope you enjoy and uh, I hope everybody can learn something from these uh, from these videos.